Okay, so I've got a really good workout for you. I would give this five stars, absolutely. Um, you're going to be doing a series of one, two, three, four, five uh, moves. Um, and you're going to do them for 30 seconds and 10 seconds transition. And you're going to do these for five rounds. Um, I ended up doing a sixth round because I felt like the first round I was just trying to get the form down right and so um, I made a couple modifications uh, in terms of the weights that I chose to use. So the, you are going to need to use some weights for this um, to get the max benefit and um, what this looks like is the first one is a one-legged burpee and you're going to be going down to one leg and you're going to be doing a jump up. So quickly and I crossed my legs on some of them and some of them I just kind of landed with one foot and then then alternating just like that and then you're going to transfer over to um, a weighted pulse squat and these felt really good and I was really thankful it was just for 30 seconds now I transitioned um, from weight on my shoulders as one version, um, pulsing, so never going all the way up, so staying in that squat and pulsing it out. I felt like that was easy, and this one was harder to hold it up front, because you're really having to use your more of your core, I think, for balance. And then you're going to go down to two push-ups, and then an in and out. So um, you will go down and you're going to be in this plank position the whole time, going down to two push-ups, and then tucking in. You can modify this um, to your knees and doing two push-ups this way, and then going up and jumping in. If that jump is too much, just step in. And then if you do, I would do step both sides. So if that makes sense, I would modify to knees two and then step step and then step step again to get max benefit if you're modifying otherwise just hop in once and move quickly through this move as well it's easy to go slow at it um, the next move you're gonna need weights I started off with a sandbag and um, midway through I transitioned to free weights um, my core was getting kind of weak at that point and I didn't want to risk um, a back injury. So you start kind of keeping your weights similar and you really are using your shoulders, your back and your core on this lift. Oh, sorry, on the down and then you're going to squat and then do round the world, kind of a halo around you and then squat. So what that looks like from the side is and then squat, and then from the other side, so. Just like that. And then you're gonna go down to a side plank, and I've never, I've always been awkward at these. Um, start on either side that you like, and go into a side plank. And you're gonna be lifting, so up, up and up. If you are getting tired, just stay in the plank position. Do not go down. Try to push through. You can do anything for 30 seconds. And then for the next 30 seconds, you'll work the other side. So you're really working your shoulder as you're doing these and pinching your oblique. Oh, then I'm tired. Holy moly. Um, so today was an excellent day. Um, got fully moved into um, our company um, all of I'm just one little program and then integrating other clinicians into a larger behavioral health and then um, there's this huge administrative building which so with behavioral health we've got all kinds of other programs all in one wing and then incorporating all the other like HR and the court system and counsel and 
it was just really cool and I just feel so so honored to be part of something like that on the reservation that I work for and I just had to stop sometimes and really be um, reflective of where I've come from um, and how my journey um, as a clinician out there. I've been there for, um, in September, it'll be eight years. And just from my first interview and working in youth residential for three years and then moving on to another program. So um, it's just, it's been really great. I'm really grateful. And um, it feels good to be in a new building and a new office. It just kind of breathes in a new um, uh, professionalism. And another thing that just became really apparent is I'm just so excited to schedule um, kiddos and families um, because my first thought was, oh my gosh, I can't wait to, to share this with them. And not even just share, I mean, this is theirs. And um, I'm just um, a vessel, a vehicle to help heal. And I'm just one way, one of 10, 20 ways to heal. And so um, I just feel really honored about that. And... And my little baby girl got dropped off early um, because her sitter had her doctor's appointment. So it was, felt so good to have my little daughter in my new office sleeping while I'm just typing away. And, um, and then she wakes up and just being able to um, visit and it, um, to some of the people that were there and nurse her and have her sit and play with her toys in my office. Like, oh, it felt really good. It makes... It's like, that's why, you know, she's just the reason. She's the reason for the season <laughs> in my life. So, yeah, it just felt really good. Um, and I come home and my husband's mowing the lawn and I just, my heart feels very blessed. So, <sighs> now I'm going to sweat and, I mean, I just sweat. I'm going to shower and um, see what the hubby's cooking for dinner. So, all right, um, see y'all later.